Well, hello. Today, you are going to learn how to play this fun math game, Leprechaun Treats, so that you can teach it to your students tomorrow. If you're ready, give me a thumbs up and we will get started. Here we go. Hi, my name is Angie and I love, if you know me, you know how much I love print and play games to keep your students busy learning while you do other things like small groups. That's the problem with stations is you're working in a small group, but what about the students that are not in your small group? They're supposed to be independent, working independently. And if you spent any time in a kindergarten or first grade classroom, you know that's no, no small feat. So the last few weeks, I have been giving you a bunch of games that you can teach your students to keep them busy when you're doing other things like small groups. So today, ours is called Leprechaun Treats. It looks like this, your free sample. It is in the description down below. Click the link, print it out, and use it in your classroom. When you get it, don't forget to look at this page because there are some more freebies for you. Just click and you have them. And if you're interested in, shameless plug, in more games, go ahead and check out the Early Finisher solution. All right. It also comes if you want the full packet. There it is right there. Those would be all the game mats that you would get. But today you get the directions. So you're seeing this QR code right here. And this is all prepped up and ready for us to go. How did I prep it? I printed it <laughs> because that's how I like to to prep a game is to print it and then we're done. And right here is a QR code to scan to get the directions. Perfect for homework subs, just reminding yourself, how do I play this game, right? To play this game, super simple. You need dice. You either need one dice or two dice. Let's play with one dice first and then I'll show you two dice. So there's two different levels depending on what your students need, and that is perfect, especially in stations. You might have some kids that are still just subitizing, right? They roll the dice and they're still one, two, three, four, or you want them to know four, all right? And what does four look like down here? That is one skill. Another one would be to level two, roll the dice, add them, find them down here. So if we're doing just one dice, we are just going to be filling in numbers one through six, because that's the extent of the numbers on a dice. And you just, the kids just fill it out, whatever they want, just random. We'll just get kind of silly here. Just do it like that. Just like that, okay? And if they're playing by themselves, they can just use one color of a dry erase marker. But if they're playing with a partner, which I highly recommend if you're going to use this in a station or as an early finisher option for your students, it's always more fun, more engaging if you are playing with a partner. So partner, partner one goes first. They get a one. Let's say that they want this treat right here. Well, you can't get the treat until you have all the numbers marked off. So blue goes next, they get a five. They're gonna mark this five right here. They could technically mark any five, which is fine. Oh, three. Well, strategically, I'm going to choose that three because mm, there are other threes, but I want to get that treat. Ooh, I bet blue is waiting for a four. Mm, didn't get a four, got a five, another five. 
Blue's going to take that one. Red is hoping for a four. They get a three. You get the idea. Let's say blue gets a four. Where's my four? Right there. They get the last number. They circle it. That is their leprechaun treat now. Okay. Play continues until all the numbers have been X'd out. All the treats have been circled and the player with the most treats wins. Okay. Easy enough. That is level one. Then level two, you can probably guess how this is going to go. If you're using two dice, the numbers in the circles will be two through 12, right? So let's do 12, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2, 3, 4. And you don't have to do it like this. They could do it totally random. 4, 12, 9, 11, 12 again, 7, 6. Okay, so I'm going to have red go first. They count how many dots total, 5 plus 3. They can tell it to their uh, partner. I, 5 plus 3 is 8. You're right. Okay, so they exit out. The next person goes, 4 plus 2 is 6. You're right. So they exit out. And again, they keep playing. They keep playing until they have finished one set of numbers. They circle it, and that becomes their leprechaun treat. And I don't know about you, but I would eat any of those leprechaun treats. They look delicious. That is how you play this leprechaun game. If you have any questions about how to play this, put it in the comments below. If you want more math games or more reading games with a theme and what kind of theme, let me know. I'd be happy to build it for you and then provide a sample here and explain it on YouTube for your classroom. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up because you're not going to want to miss any more of these games. And remember, there's more games where this came from. This is a series of eight games for you and your students. I hope you love them. All right, remember, the creator of the universe loves you, Jesus loves you. And I think you're pretty amazing too. I will talk to you later. Check out those other games. Bye-bye.